thank you for um, introductions. Uh, my name, I'm Daiki Nakanishi. Uh, and these are contents. Uh, at first, um, I will explain introduction. Brittle fracture in carbon steel affects a serious impact for the safety of the structures. Um, this is the photo of brittle fracture accident of Evanish tank in the United States, Cleveland, in 1944. The investigation of process of brittle craft propagation is very important problem, and it is thought that the elementary process of brittle craft propagation is cleavage fracture in each crystal grain, and the connection process. Right, ah, sorry. Right, this figure. So the fusion of continual mechanics and understanding of micro mechanics is more required. About brittle crack, um, it is says that um, <coughs> the theoretical um, upper limit rate of um, brittle fracture is the rate of Rayleigh wave. This is, this formula is the definition of Rayleigh wave. Um, <coughs> the rate is about two thousand nine hundred meter per second in spirits. It can be predicted that if stress is dominant parameter, um, crack propagates at the rate close to Rayleigh wave. This graph shows the real rate of brittle crack propagation. Referring to the graph, um, it is seen that the real rate of brittle crack propagation is much slower than the rate of Rayleigh wave. This reason is that breaking effect works with crack propagation. It is so that factors describe better work for the delay of crack propagation rate. For example, um, unevenness in the facet and between facets, and carriage and side ligament. Um, in this research um, about breaking effect with crack propagation, I focus on newness between forces and assume delay at, delay at crystal grain boundary. This is the model of delay, <coughs> delay at crystal grain boundary. Um, the rate in crystal grain can be assumed the rate close to Rayleigh wave and crack delays at crystal grain boundary because one zero zero frame of each crystal grain is different. In order to um, observe uh, delay at crystal grain boundary, I conducted observation of brittle crack propagation in high-speed camera by using the test specimen with coarsen grain crystal grains. Next, I will explain uh, experimental procedures. Uh, this is the chemical composition of test steels. Um, the steel uh, includes three percent silicon and about 2% aluminum. The specimens were coarsened by normalizing heat treatment at 1573 Kelvin, and it is referred to as 2A2. This is a microstructure of 2A2. Grain size is four, uh, from 4 to 5 millimeters. Uh, another test specimens were cut from slab as crystal orientation is aligned. By using <coughs> by using 2A2 um, LCQ, um, I conducted experiments. This is configuration of test specimen. In the specimen on press notch 10 mm, I conducted tensile test, and uh, in the specimen on machining and cut art 5 mm, uh, I conducted three point bending test. Uh, te test temperature is ambient temperature. I will explain observ observation of brittle crack propagation in high speed camera. This is a video of high speed camera in 2A2 in tensile test. Um, <coughs> different, different to force stroke curve, um, it is seen that um, force, rapid drift force, and brittle fracture um, happens. Shooting speed is half a million FPS. The crack portion of each time is measured from um, the image of frame taken by a high-speed camera. The crack propagation rate in high-speed camera is extremely slow. Um, and <coughs> crack proceeds smoothly at crystal grain boundary, and delay at crystal grain boundary is not observed. 
Um, this is brief summary of experiment of high-speed camera. A similar result is obtained in the test specimen of FCQ, and average rate of crack propagation rate is about 100 meters per sec. It is assumed that crack actually propagates at high rate inside of the test specimen and appears in the surface rate because the observation in high-speed camera is surface observation. And namely, uh, I assume this model of crack propagation. In order to uh, <coughs> confirm this assumption, uh, in addition to high-speed camera, crack propagation rate of inside of test specimen can be me measured by dynamic measurement of strain gauges. Uh, <coughs> I will explain uh, dynamic measurements by strain gauges. These data are in the specimen uh, of F in 3% silicon steel. And this is the uh, position of strain gauges. And this data is obtained by strain gauges. On each peak is a time frame uh, graph passes the position of strain gauges. <coughs> the difference of each uh, the difference of peak time is divided by uh, distance between strain gauges <coughs> and average crack propagation rate is obtained. Referring to the rate between strain gauges, uh, crack propagation rate estimated the rate in single crystal grain is much faster than, than the others. The graph shows the data of high speed camera and of, of the uh, strain gauges uh, at same time axis uh, in specimen L. It is seen that crack propagates inside of test specimen and crack appears in the surface rate. Therefore, it is assumed that the running crack front shape is public shape. Also, the maximum load from road displacement curve is determined. And stress intensity factor is calculated by using static k value. I will explain these questions. The previous list is graphed. Uh, <coughs> the graph shows relationship between stress intensity factor and crack propagation rates. <coughs> it can be classified um, crack propagation rate in single crystal grain and polycrystal grain. In both single crystal and polycrystal, um, the result is obtained that uh, the relationship stress intensity factor and crack propagation rate is proportional. Uh, also, it is found that uh, crack propagation rate in single crystal grain uh, is much faster than in polycrystal grain and because of gray at crystal grain boundary. Next, I conducted observation of structure surface by scanning electron microscope, SEM. This is surface structure of normal steel of fine, fine grain. As it is well known, fracture surface in normal carbon steel has no features and is flat. River pattern is observed. On the other hand, um, this is fracture surface three parts the surface of 3% silicon steel with coarse grain. Uh, <coughs> comparing with the normal steel, fracture surface is severely uneven. And swing deformation happens before cleavage fracture of slip happens. And block pattern of twin deformation and twin boundary crack in crystal grain is observed. Because of twin boundary crack, uh, crack Proceeds branching. Uh, so, uh, twin boundary crack is the uh, reason crack delays. Uh, <coughs> about crystal grain boundary, uh, it is found that there is crystal grain boundary having angles from three di dimension analysis of C SEM. Rotation is the angle facing uh, 100 frame. Uh, and tilt is the angle that one zero zero plane is bent, and twist is the angle that one zero zero plane is twisted. And these, uh, it is 
sort that these factors uh, are resistance of crack propagation at crystal grain boundary. Finally, uh, I will explain conclusions. First, there is a difference between crack propagation of inside and surface crack. Therefore, it is assumed that the running crack front shape is public shape. Second, crack propagation rate is slow in single crystal of coarse grain 3% silicon steps. <coughs> Three. Third, the crack propagation rate in single crystal grain is much faster than the rate with crystal grain boundary. And this reason is that crystal grain boundary having angles is resistance of crack propagation. It is found from observation of fracture surface that there are energy dissipation sources in crystal grain. Um, for example, um, <coughs> twin deformation and the twin boundary crack. Um, future works are the experiment of using bainite material and the measurement of crack propagation rate of ferrite single phase material of normal steel. And uh, the experiment in high temperature as twin deformation doesn't occur. Which works are to reveal completely the mechanism of crack progression in single facet and to construct six six technology of developing skills having <coughs> having high crack propagation resistance. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.